that my short message will be a blessing to you. When you look at your past, and you look at what Jesus has done for you, it's a sign that there is something powerful about Jesus dying on the cross. And this evening, I'm going to be teaching you the supernatural ability of the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. When you look at Jesus, his blood was special. That is why till today, his blood is still working for us. Amen. Amen. The first thing you must know is that one ability of the blood of Jesus is that it does not expire. First Peter chapter 1. Verse 18 and 19. The Bible says, For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed or saved with corruptible things as silver, as gold, and from your vain conversation received by the tradition of your fathers. What is the Bible saying? It's simply saying that we were not saved by things that can get spoiled. We were not saved by things that decay. We were not saved by things that can get expired. Number one, he says silver. Number two, he said gold. So for example, if you have money and you put it in the box, after 20 years, you see that the money will change color. After many years, the money will start smelling. Because it's something that is subject to expiring. But the blood of Jesus that we were saved by it does not expire. It does not decay. It does not get spoiled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Bible says it said, but we were saved with the precious blood of Jesus. So today, we remember what Jesus did for us on the cross. And he shared his blood for you and I. And I want to remind you that that blood that was shared on the cross Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of the abilities of the blood of Jesus is that it will never get spoiled. Amen. Amen. Number two, me, the blood of Jesus is the only thing that can open heaven's gates for you to enter. If you take the blood of chicken, you will not enter. If you take the blood of a cow, you will not enter. The only thing that will permit you to enter 
heaven. It's the blood of Jesus. Revelation chapter 7. Verse 9. Look at something. The Bible says, For this I beheld or I saw. Lo, a great multitude. Which no man could number. Of all nations. Of all families. Of all people. Of all tongues. And they stood before the throne. And before the Lamb. Clothed with white robes. And palms in their hands. The Bible is saying that there was a man by name John. He saw a vision. And in the vision, he saw plenty of people. He was standing in heaven. And they were standing before the throne of God. And the people that he saw, they were people from different countries. They were people who speak different languages. They were standing before the throne. And somebody asked the question. Verse 13. Look at the question. And one of the elders answered. Saying unto me. What are these? Which are arrayed in white robes. And whence can they? They were asking. Who are these people? Who are wearing white? Where did they come from? Verse 14. The answer came. And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said unto me, These are they which came out of the great tribulation. There are people who have come from the well, from the pain of the well, from the sorrow of the well, from whatever bad things happening in the well. They have come from that and they are before the Father. Why? He said because they have washed their clothes in the blood of Jesus. Have become white. What gave them asses to heaven is the blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the second ability of the blood is that it can open the gates of heaven. Number three. Of the blood of Jesus is that the blood has power to overcome the devil. It's only the blood of Jesus that has power to overcome demons. Revelation 12, verse 11. Revelation 12, verse 11. The Bible says, And they overcame him. Who is him? Satan. He said they overcame him. How? By the blood of the Lamb. So you can only overcome Satan by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. When the blood is not speaking for you, when you are not saved by the blood, demons will make you like Laham. But when you are born again by the blood of Jesus, when they come close to you, they will run away. Why? Because of the blood. When the Israelites were leaving Egypt to go to the promised land, the Lord told them that before you go, I am going to send the angel of death to come to Egypt to kill all the firstborns of Pharaoh. But for you, Israel, I want you to kill a lamb and put the blood on your door. And when the angel of death comes, 
use the blood on your doorpost. He will pass over your house. And he will not kill anybody. Why? Because the blood represents the blood of Jesus. And today, if you are born again, then you are born with the blood of Jesus. Which means that when demons are coming to attack you, in the spirit, they will see the blood. That this place is a no-go area. And they will just jump over you. I pray over you. That may your forehead be marked with the blood of Jesus. May your house be sealed with the blood of Jesus. May your business be sealed with the blood of Jesus. Amen. When the blood can go is on your head. Demons, they know this person is a noble area. This business is a noble area. This family. It's a no go May that be your portion. Number four. The ability of the blood of Jesus. What can it do? It has power to speak better things over your life. The blood of Jesus. It has the supernatural ability. Hebrews 12.24 Hebrews 12 verse 24 The Bible says And to Jesus The mediator or the middleman Of the new covenant And to the blood of sprinkling That speaketh better things than that of Abel It's a useless person. 
stigma and your family went to consult powers over the Kuwa and they spoke something against all the men in the family. But the ones who had that did I write it and to go